Back in 98? It's 98. Thanks for dating me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't look good. Oh, thanks. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, I, I'm reminded of that when I see uh, uh, people who have graduated high school here locally when I'm going through a local draft and they say, you were my third grade speaker. Uh, uh, and I'm like, thanks for that. I, I appreciate it. Um, no, but to the question, uh, I remember growing up um, and all of us remember watching the Cosby Show, right? And love that show. Thursday night was built around, you know, Cosby Show followed by a different world. And a different world for me was, you know, the gold standard. I was like, when I graduate from high school, I'm going to Hillman. And uh, obviously, I would only later learn there was no real Hillman College. Um, but when I was in high school, I was the president of pre-collegiate which was for students of a certain GPA and the advisor would take us on a college tour. And, uh, you know, we went up north, came back down through the uh, Atlanta uh, Center, AU Center. And the last stop was at uh, Florida a and University. And when I arrived on that campus, it was like, this is it, this is home, this is Hillman. The name is FAMU, but it's really Hillman. Uh, and uh, that was it, that was home. The folks that we encountered, um, the talent that came from so many different parts of the country, uh, it was a right fit for me. I had a very similar experience, mm -hmm. and it was it has been for the past four years filled with a lot of fun, yeah. um, serious you know classes and buckling down, but definitely some fun. Absolutely. What were things that we could find FAMU and Jaquil doing when oh, he wasn't my. in SGA meetings or uh, you know in board of trustee meetings? Well, uh, <laughs> I will tell you when I first got to FAMU, I spent a lot of time on Gain Street, and not the Gain Street that the students of FAMU know today. The Gain Street that I remember had the NEC, it had uh, the Groove, it had these really hole in the wall, you know, clubs that you could get into at the age of 18. And uh, they were sweat boxes. I mean, it was like no ventilation, no AC, it barely had any lights in there. Um, but those were really great experiences. Uh, I met some of um, my closest friends today, hanging out on the set, hanging out outside the dorm, and sweating it out in the hot box at the NEC. <laughs> Do we know any of those friends today? You know what? You'd be surprised. Uh, uh, yes, uh, we would. Virgil Miller, who is a former uh, drum major uh, and is now chief of staff to Congressman Cedric Richmond. Uh, and I'm out in all of them, I guess. Uh, Al <laughs> Alvin Benton, who is a former drum major and uh, a, partner, uh, a, a lawyer and a well-established firm in Texas. Uh, Amber uh, was Amber Hall. She was president of um, uh, Alpha Kappa Alpha when she was on campus and is now a HR uh, leader at Frito-Lay. Um, and my best friend who was a student at Florida State University but spent really all of his time at FAMU as was, you know, pretty popular among a lot of African-American students at FSU, at least when I was a student. And he's a partner, of, well, the owner of his own law firm and just settled, uh, rather got the largest jury verdict in world history um, fighting alongside uh, um, another uh, legendary attorney where they got a $32 billion uh, jury verdict. So some pretty uh, successful yeah, individuals and we were all hanging crew. out. <laughs> <laughs> your crew was But you know, the funny thing yeah. is, is at that time it felt like, and you'll probably reflect on this after you graduate, that your crew will be the crew too. Uh, it's a very uh, fam you thing uh, to you know, associate with these folks uh, without having any, you know, uh, knowledge about where any of us would end up. And because of our shared family experience, most of them end up going off and doing great things. Uh, You're so. so right. And it really goes back to the saying, you know, birds of a feather flock Absolutely. together. And so Absolutely. when you're on your grind, normally you find that you're hanging out with people that are like that. Too. Well, I'll tell you, if my father's not, advice they, was you know. uh, never hang out with anybody who doesn't have as much to lose as you do. So. Exactly. And so I think it's always cool to see that you have your, you know, your established crew, but they're also, you know, the Mitzi Millers and the, all of the other, you know, great people that come from FAMU. Absolutely. Too. So there's a thousand great people. Yeah, absolutely. Crews at FAMU absolutely. that you find all the time. So